In this video, we will study the pathology of lipoma and liposarcoma, both of which are soft tissue tumors that arise from the adipocytes. So firstly, let's start with lipoma. So lipoma is a benign tumor of fat and it is the most common soft tissue tumor that occur in adults. Thirdly, the lipomas develop subcutaneously at the level of proximal extremities that is upper arms and thighs and in trunk that is abdomen and thorax. So lipomas are benign tumors of fat that arise in subcutaneous areas of proximal extremities and trunk. Thirdly, let's come to the microscopic features of lipoma. As lipoma is a benign tumor, so it is composed of increased number of cells that are mature adipocytes. These mature adipocytes are identified by their signet ring morphology and by signet ring morphology, I mean that they have a central empty cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is empty due to lipid laden vacuoles. And due to the accumulation of this fat in the cytoplasm, the nucleus is pushed at the margins. So this appearance is called signet ring morphology. Secondly, as lipoma is a benign tumor and benign tumors do not invade the capsule. So you can see here in this diagram that the capsule is intact and there is no invasion of the capsule. Lastly, lipomas can be simply cured by simple excision. Now the malignant variant of lipoma is liposarcoma, which is a malignant tumor of adipose tissue and it is the most common sarcoma in adulthood. So the most common benign soft tissue tumor in adults is lipoma and the most common malignant soft tissue tumor or most common sarcoma in adulthood is liposarcoma. Now according to the microscopic features or histopathological features, there are three types of liposarcomas that are well differentiated liposarcomas, mixoid liposarcomas and pleomorphic liposarcomas. In well differentiated liposarcomas as the name implies, you will see well differentiated or mature adipocytes that you also studied in lipomas. But in addition to these mature adipocytes, there is a very small quantity of few atypical spindle cells. So in well differentiated liposarcomas, you see mature adipocytes in abundance and few atypical spindle cells. The second histopathological subtype is myxoid liposarcoma. Myxoid means mucoid or mucopolysaccharide matrix that appears as a blue basophilic matrix on microscope. So on microscope, you will see myxoid matrix and as this is a tumor of relatively higher grade, so instead of mature adipocytes, you will see adipocytes of various differentiation. So in myxoid liposarcoma, you see myxoid matrix along with adipocytes of various differentiation. Now the third histopathological subtype is pleomorphic liposarcoma. Now as pleomorphism means change in shape and size of cells, so in pleomorphic liposarcomas, you see undifferentiated or anaplastic cells that are arranged in form of sheets. And one among these undifferentiated cells is lipoblast. Now this lipoblast is an immature variant of lipocyte or adipocyte and this lipoblast is visible as a large cell. This large cell has multiple empty large sized vacuoles and this large sized vacuole causes indentation or scalloping of the central nucleus. So the central nucleus becomes indented or scalloped. You know that this is different from a mature adipocyte in such a way that in mature adipocyte the nucleus is pushed at the margins. But in lipoblast, instead of being pushed to the margins, the nucleus becomes indentated and remains in the central position. So this is the difference between lipoblast and mature adipocyte. And the point was that in pleomorphic liposarcoma, you see sheets of anaplastic cells that also contain lipoblast. So overall in well differentiated liposarcoma, you see mature adipocytes and few atypical spindle cells. In myxoid liposarcoma, you see abundant mucoid matrix and you see adipocytes of various differentiation. And in pleomorphic liposarcomas, you see sheets of anaplastic cells and this sheet of anaplastic cells also contain lipoblasts. These lipoblasts are large size cells with a centrally indented or scalloped nucleus. So this concludes the pathology of lipoma and liposarcomas.